Hello everyone, welcome to the next unboxing here at Eurofish Aquatics. Sorry about the uh, crazy reflection here in Seattle. Today is 90 degrees here in September. Um, kind of weird, we've been getting like a mixture of feels like spring, fall, summer. Uh, seems like one one week we're in the 70s, next week we're in the 90s, so kind of nice. The good weather still trying to stick around. Um, everything's pushing at the new shop. We're still going to do the unboxing here for this one. Hopefully the next one will be at the new shop. I uh, don't have much set up there, so it'll be pretty empty background, but then you guys can get your first glance of um, if you haven't already seen it in person how big the new shops gonna be so Let's get started on some amazing fish. Oh, and uh, I do want to mention um, I'm sure some of you care the big fans of Eurofish Aquatics um, We are definitely wholesaling fish to other fish stores uh, yesterday we did um, our second third time around to the same company um, everything went well, no DOAs, uh, which DOA stands for dead on arrival. So all the fish made it, uh, super healthy. I'm happy that they made it there safely, uh, safely and the customer is very happy with their fish. So if you are another store and you're here in Washington and you happen to watch our unboxings and you're interested in getting some of our rare, amazing, healthy fish, um, whether they're locally bred or brought in from other sources uh, we have great pricing wholesale um, offers here so just reach out to me if you are a store a store owner um, and I will respond um, as soon as possible so here we're gonna get started with our amazing beautiful Congo Tetras lots and lots of Congo Tetras every week I will bring them in until I have so many that I can pick out um, breeding stock from it and start breeding them so that ultimately we can have them locally bred here and then that way I can lower the price because I won't have to pay for shipping so I will pass on the savings to you and we will gain the quality of the fish being bred here but I will be a Tetra breeding machine once we are fully running at the new shop so look at those stunning colors love some congo tetras here's a fish for the monster fish people see your flagtail prochilida flagtail prochilidas are omnivore but they're really good at algae grazing they do grow to be 14 plus inches. These guys came in really healthy. They're a little bit bigger than we usually get. So I'm happy to have these. Look at those beautiful colors. Oh, feisty. When they color in, uh, they will get red later on. They will The red appears later. Um, everyone thinks that there's two species of these, but no. There's your high grade, low grade, and over time, as they become adults, that tail will get more red. Flagtail Prochilida. Okay, here's the rainbow we haven't had in for a while. These are your red irene rainbows. Not very red at the moment, but they will color in. Red irene rainbow fish. Okay, here's a rainbow, our rainbow, sorry. Here's a pleco we've never brought in before. This is a bristlenose pleco, but these are your gold spotted bristlenose plecos. Interesting. I will try to get a pair of these, breed them out, and try to make these way more available. I don't know why I'm not seeing them, but anywhere else, but gold spot bristlenose plecos okay and we have that was a female and here's the male of the gold spot bristlenose plecos sweet guess we got a pair 
I will give an opportunity over the weekend if somebody wants to pick up this pair. And if not, guess who's going to keep them and breed them? Gold spot personal plecos. Never seen them before. There's some of my favorite fishies of all time. Nice and healthy neon tetra. Probably about the most popular fish ever sold other than the betta. Worldwide, the most popular fish sold is a betta. I think these are number two, but they are definitely my number one, so. Love some neon tetras. And another healthy bag of neon tetras. No DOAs, no dead on arrivals. All healthy. Love it when that happens. Here we have a stunning jumbo sized vampire shrimp. If you're looking for filter feeders, you've got green water issues, or you just want an awesome crustacean that gets big and lives a very long time, here are your wild caught African vampire fish. I think we've never brought these in before, and if we did, I don't remember, but here's a larger, beautiful Corydoras. These are your Emerald Corys. Emerald Corys, they can grow to be four inches. They're a larger size Cory. Really nice specimens here. Beautiful, bright green almost, look like they glow. But, um, if you're looking for a bigger quarry um, at a reasonable price, I think these are pretty affordable for how big they get. Come check this out. We got six for now. We'll see how they go, and I can always give more. All right, we restocked up on some Blue Dream Shrimp. Neo Caradinas. Try to get enough to where our, oops, they're breeding, so I don't have to keep bringing them in, so working on my reds and my blues i got an abundance of yellows red reallys i think we have over 10 different colors of neo caradinas here available and we have deals on 10 packs too okay here's an amazing fish we've never brought in before that is similar to um your geophagus sveni these are geophagus Oh, how do you pronounce it? Give me one second here. This one is the Geophagus surinamensis. Uh, basically, the common name for them is called the red striped earth eater. Uh, they're very, very similar to your Geophagus sveni, right? But they're not. Geophagus sveni max out about 8 inches. These guys will grow over 11 plus inches. So they're even bigger than your Sveni get. And we do have full grown Sveni here if you're interested. You can also get juveniles, but um, yeah. So you can see they just don't have that spot. They have more of a stripes and they get bigger. But when they're full adults, they look a lot like the Sveni. But they are earth eaters, so they'll clean up your sand. They get a mouthful of sand and spit it out, clean all the detritus and everything else. Come check those guys out. All right, we've got more female bettas in. So I'm gonna show you a couple examples here. These are your female koi bettas. We keep them in a huge sorority here, in a 55 gallon. Great price, lots of selections. Look at that tail on this one. Oh yeah. You're into breeding bettas and you're looking for female breeding stock? I'll look no further. Lots and lots of bettas. That's a pretty one. I'm going to show you one more example of a different female koi betta. At the new shop, we will have a betta rack, but it's not going to be, I wouldn't call it a betta rack. 
uh, it's just it's gonna be much bigger than your one gallon two gallon I haven't decided yet I might literally go with single male bettas I might put them either in a five or ten gallon by themselves um, I just want them to thrive and want people to understand that just because you have a betta doesn't mean that it needs to go into one or two gallon you know I am not the biggest nano tank uh, fan um, to me a 10 gallon is a nano aquarium anything under a 5 to me is very extremely difficult to maintain I'm trying to do water changes in a 1 gallon uh, without disturbing all the substrate and I don't know it's just not my thing so when you come look at our female bettas here they'll be in 55 gallons they'll be in 75 gallons with all other fish and they get used to being around other other fish and not just be by themselves, okay? All right, here's a different type of bettas to put in our female sorority. These are your Delta Super Dumbo Eared Female Bettas. And look at those Dumbos. Beautiful fish. This one looks like a male. If you didn't know any better, you'd probably think this is a male. No, these are females. These are beautiful female bettas. I, I'm a bigger fan of the females than I am of the males because you can keep these in numbers. I've, we've had over a hundred of these together in one tank and absolutely no fights, no fin nipping, nothing. They, they just don't even realize they exist in other than themselves. So they coexist very well. Uh, unlike male bettas, you can only keep one. Okay, I'll show you one more example of your Delta Super Dumbo Eared Female Betta. Okay, here's a new fish we've never brought in before. It's a new type of puffer fish. These are your figure eight puffers. Now, we've never bought them in before because these are brackish. And what brackish means that it's in between freshwater and saltwater. So you have to have some marine salt in your aquarium for them to survive. Um, a lot of times places will sell these and they won't let you know that, but to keep these guys alive, you can almost, I can tell that this is there's salt in this water, but they're your figure eight puffer. And it was a client request. And so we brought in three. And so if you're listening and you're watching, we got them for you. They obviously came in nice and healthy. And I love looking at new puffers. Beautiful colors. Look kind of like a Amazon puffer, but a little cooler pattern, I think. These are pretty neat. Figure eight puffers. And now give me a little chance to talk about brackish fish. Um, brackish, I feel, is closer to keeping fresh water than it is salt water. I mean, yes, there's salt in there, but it's very simple. Yeah, just the exact same setup. There's only certain plants will survive and you add in the salt. Uh, use a salinity meter and make sure that there's enough salt and it's a pretty nice big window. But at the new shop, we will eventually have a roughly possibly uh, between 180 to 250 gallon uh, saltwater tank set up for rare saltwater fish. I will be visiting every saltwater fish store in Washington state. I'm going to write down on a list of their rarest fish and what I will be doing is bringing in everything they don't have. So even though I'm going to start with one tank, it's going to have rarer species than any other fish store. So for those that are into very rare and exotic, expensive saltwater fish, they'll have a, another place to go to and, and check it out. I'm not gonna get into corals right away, but later on I will. I will be doing everything. I have connections that no other fish store in Washington State has with, um, with saltwater fish, and I definitely wanna utilize that and, and get these fish to the right people, so. Eventually you'll be able to um, 
request specific fish uh, that you're not seeing anywhere and I will hunt them down. Up next is some, I don't know why the bag got split up by so many. There's not too many in here, but there's a few bags. I think they're just worried about water quality. So that is a whole lot of water for a little bit of shrimp. And that's why I love these guys. They always take care of me and, and by taking care of the fish. So we have some Fire Sakura uh, Neo Caradina shrimp available. All right, here's a fish that most are familiar with. This is a nice nano fish. These are your chili rasboras. Nice and small fish. Schooling nano fish. All right, here's a fish we've never brought in before. This was a client request. Also a good friend. Supported the business since day one. And he supports this on YouTube, so I appreciate him very much. Well, we finally got your raccoon tetras in. I've never seen these before. These came from a private breeder. Uh, we got your raccoon tetras, and I will obviously get more. But we got some to start off with here. Raccoon tetra. Here's a fish we've never brought in before, which is a client request. Also become a very good friend, also very supportive of our business. Uh, he reached out to me and thinking about breeding them. I would love to have a local breeder for these. These are your rainbow shiners. Rainbow shiners. Here are some Amano shrimp. Looks like some they're buried Amano shrimp. All right, here's some unique Cory's. You might have never heard of these. You might have never seen them, but I know you know what panda Cory's are. So these are your long fin panda Cory's. Look at the tails on those babies big fan of long fin because I was born in the Czech Republic where we create a lot of long fin world-class fish so I gotta be a big fan of these so if you're looking for new breeding stock new breeding project here you go long fin panda quarries. all right here's a rare puffer we haven't had in for a very long time successfully paired off a pair and someone who again is an awesome customer and became a friend um, is very supportive of the business has acquired the pair that we created here and I wish him the best success and I hopefully that he can succeed in breeding them one of the only puffers that will actually breed in captivity but this is your very rare Harry Puffer. Harry Puffers can get four plus inches. So I'm sorry about, they can get up to about six plus inches, full grown. Um, Harry Puffer, definitely a single fish and no tank mates because they have razor sharp beaks. They are aggressive, they're ambush predators. Very, very fun to watch. We have a, one of our YouTube videos is one of these things chasing down a bunch of ghost shrimp and it's amazing when they swallow them because they don't even chew they just, they just swallow them whole so he's being or it's being shy there's the face Harry puffer only got one really hard to get and they are how would I say this I feel seasonal in the hobby as far as when they become available pretty pretty rare puffer so it won't be here for long it's called a hairy puffer all right decided to get some more albino hoplo catfish albino hoplo catfish get about eight inches obviously bottom dweller like most catfish are Only very few catfish that don't act like bottom dwellers. 
I'm waiting. If you're interested in those and you want to ask me about them, I can get you some. But these are your albino hoplo catfish. All right, here's a fish we've never brought in before. These are from Australia. I guess you could consider it a predatory style fish. They get nine plus inches. They are part of the perch family. These are your black grunter fish. Black grunter is what they're called. Get nine inches, wild from Australia. Okay, black grunter. Uh, a couple of them in but I'm just going to show you that one example one more time here they will get nice and dark they have beautiful color and pattern if you want something unique we have some jungle perch now we have some black grunter perch here's another healthy bag of neon tetras I will take a second to explain that fish come in throughout the week from breeders and sometimes we take in fish rescues so there are a lot of other fish that come into the shop without the video um, documentation of the unboxing to prove that we have them so basically I will mention some of the stuff we got in from private breeders and um, rescue situations so this week we do have a really nice five beautiful koi angels available um, what do we get lots of locally bred mystery snails great quality great size um, let's see here I'm trying to remember it just keeps coming in so I'll try to uh, mention it here throughout the video. All right, here's some fish we haven't brought in for a while that are some of my favorites when they're juveniles because they're nice and um, calm and not aggressive, but when they get bigger and they grow to be eight inches full size, they can become aggressive. These are your electric blue Jack Dempsey's. I figured out when it, the camera doesn't focus, if I just put my hand here, I've learned that the camera starts focusing because it picks up my hand to focus in on. So here are your electric blue Jack Dempsey's. Now, if it seems like I'm out of it or I'm a little off, it's because last night I work late. I, I, I work here long hours I, I work seven days a week i have for two years i'm not complaining i'm just letting you guys know but i was on the way from you know after work here i closed the shop down and went home to pick up my rottweiler and my chihuahua and we hop in our little car and we drive right back and spend lots and lots of time um, working here doing maintenance get, uh, moving stuff to the new shop um, you know all those fun things and unfortunately we were at an intersection heading back here to the shop and I was sitting at a red light and had the dogs in the car and some drunk driver decided to have his head down and drove uh, right through the intersection well I mean we were at the red light at the intersection and I got we got rear-ended when I say we it was me and the dogs we got rear-ended pretty hard I it felt like Marshawn Lynch came out of nowhere and just clipped you from behind. I mean, I'm definitely in pain, um, but we are okay. The dogs are okay. The The car is a tough uh, Japanese Toyota, and so it took it very, very well. But, um, yeah, so I might be a little slow, a little off. I My response time, I, I dealing with nausea and all that. So I apologize for that. It just sucks. Drunk, drunk, drunk drivers suck. You know, like I've drank before, and obviously I drive every day. But those are two separate things. So if you guys are out there and you're having a good time, just call an Uber, get someone to drive. But keep your eyes on the darn road. But this this dummy 
luckily he pulled over, we got his information, we exchanged it, you know, he's got insurance and uh, when I find time, I'll go to the doctor and get checked out and get the dogs checked out. But for now, I just want to recover just physically and mentally. So it's nice to have these fish here and the unboxing to keep my mind off of things. So anyway, we are good. So here are your beautiful electric blue Jack Dempsey's. All right, here is a rare pleco that is very affordable this is your L015 candy stripe pleco they are carnivorous we have a few here for you they will color in but they're called candy stripe plecos uh, similar to leopard frogs but probably half the price all right sorry about the lengthy video guys i'm definitely out of it I'm trying my hardest here uh fighting the concussion here is a new nano fish we've never brought in before i'm gonna show you the fish and uh, try my hardest to pronounce it and hopefully i don't butcher the name of these things they are nano fish they only get two inches i don't think they're gobies i don't know what category they fall under i have a feeling there might be loaches uh, some kind of a bottom dwelling fish here but um, so the scientific name is Melanocorosidum dispeloma whew yeah I'll try to find out the common name but I don't think they have them but they're wild from Peru they get two inches their community like the let me see if I can get better footage here yeah there we go beautiful unique looking checker pattern fish never seen them before you have to come see them in person all right here is another brackish fish we've never brought in before they're really really small so I try my hardest to show you here these are your australian desert gobies Australian desert gobies. He had a beautiful gold color. They are brackish, so in our new store we will have a brackish section so that you can see some unique fish you might have never seen in any, in any other fish store because I don't really usually see brackish tank setups, but we're going to have some. So, And I'll get back into the mudskippers too. I can get six different species of mudskippers, so I'm excited to do the brackish section for you guys. Australian Desert Gobi. There are some fish that I just uh, threw right into their uh, aquariums is because they, the water was really bad. So some of those things that you aren't seeing in the unboxing would be more of the black fin Celebes half beaks. Um, sadly, one of the main things I was very excited to get was some wild Altam Angels. And uh, unfortunately, I, I got six of them and they all showed up DOA. Uh, it's definitely sad. I think it was a human error. I feel that uh, six Altam Angels should be individually packed. They're not cheap fish. They're very rare. But unfortunately... The packer decided to put all six wild altums in one bag with barely any water and wild altums are much taller than most angels and sadly what happened is, is they passed away because the water uh, was just very very low and none leaked out they just didn't put enough water in there for angels they don't want to lay on their side so fortunately they didn't make it um, so I will try again um, for next week or the week after, we will have some wild Altam angels and some very, very rare versions, well, species of the Altam angels because there's a lot of wild Altams, different types, and we get them from specific regions of the world. So I'm looking forward to those. I apologize about that to those that I promised that I would have the Altams. All right, here's a monster fish we've never brought in before. Uh, this whopper is a tan tanidus K 
catfish. Tanidus catfish are wild from Indonesia. Now these, well, what are they, uh, like about five inches right now? Will grow to be a 36 plus inch fish. 300 gallons or bigger, but you're gonna have to have at least a 300 gallon aquarium for permanent home for these. I mean, you know. They can survive in smaller tanks, but once they get bigger, you'll need um, a, either a custom tank or indoor pond. These will reach three feet. Never seen them before. And here is our second specimen in here. So we have two. Kind of look like a Wallago catfish, but they're not. Canada's catfish. Okay, guys, thank you for joining me for this long. Uh, I have a few more fish to show here, but here's one we've never brought in before, and this belongs to the gar family. Um, it's not an actual gar, but it looks a lot like the marble gar, but I know you've never seen one of these before. You've probably never heard one before because they are very rare species. That's my first one. I've ever seen. Uh, I'm trying not to butcher the name here, but these are the Bolangarilla Xyrucus. Um, they will grow to be, they're wild from, I want to say Indonesia, or was it wild from Colombia? I think it was wild from Colombia. Um, they get 15 plus inches, so you'll definitely want a 125 for permanent aquarium for these. Uh, right now, it looks like it's about six inches. Good size. They are predator fish, so they will eat small fish. So you'll need fish tank mates that cannot fit in their mouth. It will grow to be 15 plus inches. Very cool. Very unique. Has some red in it. Wait till you see this thing in person. All right. Finally brought some buddies for this rare rainbow fish right there that just looks like it needs a buddy <laughs> so uh we have a friend also a client request uh these are your albino millennium orange rainbow fish see those eyes those are true albinos first albino angelfish i mean rainbow fish i've ever seen Speaking of angels, they are aggressive. So if you're looking for an alternative for angelfish, get into some rainbows. Way more color, much more chill, docile fish. Some rainbows can reach up to six inches, believe it or not. So that's almost as big as the angels. Okay, here's a fish we've never brought in before. And it seems like I say this a lot because I go out of my way to do this. I, I want to show you new fish. and you, you never know when you watch these unboxings, you might see your new favorite fish. So uh, this is uh, for the goby lovers and the rare oddball fish keepers. I will try my hardest not to butcher the name. But again, these are the Bostricus Zanostus. Ostracus Zanastus. They are a very large, stunning goby. Some type of goby. Not exactly sure. We have two available. Show you guys. So if you're into gobies. Come check these guys out. Beautiful colors. Yellow belly underneath. It's almost like blue. Can't wait to see what they look like when they color in. Not exactly sure where to put these yet, but we'll figure it out. We do have two available. I would say they're pushing four and a half inches. Come check those out. All right. Here are some fish we haven't brought in for a while. For you monster fish people, keepers, here's a rare stunning detanoid. These guys are probably five inches plus. 
These are your NTT datnoid. NTT stands for Northern Thailand Tigerfish. Northern Thailand Tigerfish, also called the Thin Bar Datnoid. Can grow to be 16 plus inches, predatory fin. Fin, predatory fin. <laughs> predatory fish. Um, you can see they have, looks like a normal small mouth, but that, that jaw unlocks and they can swallow fish a lot larger than you think. So they are predator fish. They are schooling. So if you get into datnoids, it's not a fish to just keep one. It's definitely supposed to have six or more of them. And at 16 inches, it's quite the dedication to get these fish and get into them. Uh, datnoids are some of the most popular uh, fish in other countries and other parts of the world. Um, they can get very expensive. I've seen certain datnoids at, a, at like 9, 10 plus inches sell for over $6,000. Um, these guys were nowhere near that. They're much more affordable. Uh, look at the beautiful gold markings. Nice black lines. Really like these datnoids. I think I might keep a couple myself for display. Here is another healthy, beautiful specimen of the NTT tigerfish. Alright, we're usually limited numbers, but we were able to get three of these five inch beautiful stunning NTT tiger datnoids. This is the third specimen. I usually am able to only get one every few months. Every three months I'm lucky to get one. Now we're sitting on three. Some of you um, have bought a few of them off of me. Hopefully this will complete your completion of getting six or more. Um, beautiful tiger datnoid. All right, last but not least, hopefully <laughs> my battery's dying, so I'm gonna finish up here. Uh, this is a rare stunning pleco we've never brought in before. This is your L453 uh, Moa Pleco. Um, rare stunning pleco. Never seen them before. Reach about seven inches. That one, This one's getting close to that. Let me uh, see one more time. It's also called the King Arabesque, Arabesque Pleco. Um, they are wild from Brazil. Beautiful specimen here. It's black and white striped markings. I mean, this is a rare Pleco. Uh, it's the first one I've ever seen in my life. It's almost like a giant zebra pleco and it's part of the liar tail family it has the liar tail you can see that it's a beautiful pleco uh, it is a wood eater so make sure you have to have one in the tank so appreciate you guys and i'm always looking forward to seeing you on the next one